Hello and welcome back to Migratory Game. So I've been having issues with my motor on this boat and I figured it out. Uh, sometimes you just gotta learn the hard way. So what happened was I bought a short shaft motor and this is a transom for a long shaft motor. And the difference is it's five inches. Um, I didn't know it would make a difference. It definitely does. What was going on was my motor seemed like it was jumping out of gear. So I took my motor off of this and I put it on my buddy Jordan's John boat. We took it to the lake and hey, that motor will make that boat go. Um, it was the fastest I've ever been in a boat, uh, as far as I know, or can remember anyways, but that little John boat was getting it across the water. Um, when we first opened it up, the boat stood up and she just cut loose. So I'm pretty happy with the motor. The motor did great, wasn't jumping out of gear, wasn't acting crazy, it ran perfect. So. What I'm gonna do is, is cut my transom down. Uh, this is a 20 inch transom, and the short shaft motor calls for a 15 inch transom. So I'm gonna cut five inches out of this. And I've never done it. This is the first time I ever owned a boat. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work out. I hope it works out for the best. I'm worried about the corners where, my, where I put my trolling motor. I'm worried about them being flimsy. Uh, I'm not sure, but what I've done was I measured over 14 inches. I took a screwdriver and I scratched the paint 14 inches on both sides. And I took this speed square and uh, stuck it up here and scratched out a 45 degree angle on both sides. And then I made sure it was five inches to this line. And then I, I scratched that out across there using a board. Um, I put this board up here like this. I measured down five inches, made me a little mark. Measured down over here five inches, made another mark. Held that board on the marks and then scratched the paint. Um, not really anything to it. Now all I gotta do is get my soles all out and hopefully cut this. And then uh, I'll have to bondo over it, fiberglass over it, paint it again. But I'm hoping it'll work out for the best. And then that, that'll put the motor right where it needs to be. It'll be 15 inches from here to the bottom of the boat. So I'm gonna take five, five inches out of this transom. I hope it works out good. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. So it's my first boat. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of nervous about cutting this down. I probably should just hold off, uh, try to find a, a, um, a long shaft motor but I already got that one. I paid $400 for it. It didn't run. We had to clean the carburetor, get the, the needle. It was stuck, so we had to fix that so the float would work. Um, Dad did all that work with the carburetor. So uh, we put new plugs in it. I put a new water pump in it. I had the gearing, the gear shifter out of, out of whack. We got that fixed. So I got all this time and this money and this motor. I think I'm just gonna use it, cut this down, and if I upgrade, I'll just, continue to use a short shaft motor from here on out. Um, that's that's thinking that this is still gonna be sturdy, it's gonna hold up, the corners ain't gonna be wobbling around, which I don't think they are. At least I hope they're not. Um, if all else fails, I just build it back up again and uh, go with a long shaft motor. But the plan is, is to use a short shaft motor. Uh, like I said, on, on Jordan's boat, that motor was sweet on that little 12-foot John boat he's got. Uh, I don't think it was too much. I think it was just just enough or kind of perfect, really. Uh, for this boat, it's going to be more than enough of what I need. I don't need to, you know, be shooting across the lake at 40 mile an hour. I just want to go fishing. I'm just, I just go out to go pleasure fishing, a little crappie fishing. I don't really do a whole lot of bass. Uh, crappie, catfish, take kids bluegill fishing. That's about it. So this is just just a pleasure boat, just something to get out and enjoy a little bit of time with the family. Doing stuff outdoors is is what it's about. Well, let's uh, let's get the jigsaw out, throw a blade in it. Uh, Dad got this jigsaw for me. It's used. Um, he ended up getting it for free. He gave it to me. I've never tried it. I don't even know if it works. I'm assuming it does. It's got some blades in there. They look used, but I think they'll be more than enough to cut through this fiberglass, this little bit of wood. Notch that out, 
touch it back up and it'll be ready for the lake again. Let's try it. Here's the jigsaw. Um, that blade looks like it'll do it. That blade might do it too. There's a couple blades. Um, there's some more blades in here, but that one might not be long enough. Well. change this blade out all right I got my allen wrenches I think it's this one nope that's it oh start with this one move that thing out of the way get you picked back up here there you go cut this boat I try to stay out of the camera angle I just move you how's that sound we'll start over here can you see yep That's no good. I didn't have that screw in the right spot, evidently. Got it back in there, try again. Now I gotta just come down with it, try to notch this corner out so I can come across. Um, I just gotta make it big enough for me to uh, lay the blade flat and then come across it. So let's cut this out.
You know, now I'm thinking about it, maybe if I took a circular saw. Well, one thing for sure, the transom's not rotted. At least this piece. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab a circular saw and see if we can't get that cut coming across here. It's uh, assuming it'll go all the way through anyways. I think it will. Let's find out. I didn't want to do that. And it didn't go all the way through. Oh, I'll plug that back in. It might help if I had a new blade, but this blade's doing it. Now all I gotta do is come across, and the hard part's done. Sand it down a little bit. The transom was wet, so I might, I might just leave it open and let it dry. But uh, sand it down, a little fiberglass over it, paint it back up. What do you say we finish this? We got it cut out. It was wet, so I think that's why the jigsaw had a hard time cutting through it. Let's leave it open for a day or so. I'll throw the tarp on it. Let's see it from the inside. I think you can see that, I don't know. Yeah, it don't look too bad. So, if I did it right, oh, if I did it right, it'll be 15 inches. Let me get you a little closer so you can see the tape. From here to here, 15 inches. Oh, dead on 15 inches. 
And then here's the water line where it sits in the water. Yeah, it puts the boat a little closer to the water. I might have to be careful when I slow down, but I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, like I said, the water sits here. It floats, it floats real good. Um, but now the motor is going to be able to work at the, you know, where it should be working at. Best performance for it anyways. The depth and everything should be right. I'll let this dry and then uh, we'll sand it down, five glass over it. This little, little layer, body putty, little fiberglass on it. But it's sturdy. And the corners that I was worried about, they're sturdy. This is where you can you tell where I put the trolling motor. It'll still push it just, just fine. I think it's gonna work out real good. Grab that motor and put it on there and I'll make sure I got plenty of clearance. Let me, let me readjust this pin so you'll see exactly what I was talking about. Take this pin out. I'll put it down here, it's where I always put it. Very last hole. That lets the motor sit down like that. Oh, come here, you bad mama jamma saws all you. Okay. So, make sure you can see. This, uh, it's called something plate. It should be just either in line with the bottom of your motor, or your boat, bottom of your boat, straight in line with it, or below it. And right now it looks like we're gonna be below it. Ah. It looks like we're gonna be below it roughly an inch. Let's see, ah, about two inches. I don't know, it's probably hard for you to tell. I see. I thought I'd help you. Right there's the bottom of the boat. Oh, it kind of looks like three inches here. Anyways, he got us below the boat. Now the motor's actually below the boat. The motor actually sat about right here. So half the propeller was actually up behind the boat. So it wasn't getting the water circulation properly with the propeller. So it was just like hitting air pockets, which is what we thought originally. And then I got on YouTube and found out that these gears in here, they're constantly spinning, your forward and reverse gear. And then your drive gear comes in here and they're constantly spinning, even in neutral. And there's this thing in here, it's called a dog. And when you shift it, it'll go one way or the other. And it, all it does is lock in this gear or this gear. And sometimes that your gears can get rounded off a little bit and that dog can jump off the gear under a load. And I thought that's what was going on. We put it on a John boat and it did fine. Uh, I know the John boat's a little lighter than this. But we uh, wide open for a long ways and it didn't even try to jump out of gear. Even when from a, like a pretty much a dead stop to full throttle, it never slipped or acted crazy. So I think this is definitely gonna fix our problem with this little motor. Um, one other thing I wanted to check to make sure if it's just going to clear. I'm not going to get in the boat, but I'll put you in the boat. Uh, the reason why I'm not getting in it is because it's not hooked up to nothing and then it'll tip back. So, that's center. That's all the way. That's all the way. Plenty of room. I'm happy with it. And I got out, got out the, this, it was like that all the way across there. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, it actually looks really good. It's called like a propulsion plate. So I don't know, but anyways, it's gotta be below the belt for the boat from back here. Looks real good. Originally I liked, uh, I about fell over. I liked where the motor sat up so close to the bottom of the boat. 
that way the boat would pretty much have to bottom out for the motor to bottom out. It just ain't gonna work like that. Like I said, it's not getting the, the proper water flow to the propeller. Oh well. Figuring it out as I go. I didn't know anything about boat motors. Uh, just tinkering with it, taking it apart, doing it all myself. Like I said, Dad or Hank, he took the carburetor home, he took it apart. He knows more about the carburetors than I do. I, I know they're simple and there's just a few things. I just I've never had any luck with them. Uh, I've tried weed eaters, chainsaws. Um, just not a carburetor guy, I guess. Uh, usually I'm pretty handy figuring it out on my own or fixing it on my own. But he offered to take it home, fix it, and clean it up. He got it, he got it running pristine. Uh, so the first thing we did was the carburetor, cleaned it up, started running good. Uh, still was like rough idle or hard starting, changed plugs, changed the, just, the, just the screw, the idling screw just a little bit until we figured out that sweet spot. And now choke it, neutral, prime it, make sure it's primed, it's on, fires up one time on choke, shut the choke off, start it again, and it runs. I don't have to keep pulling on it. It's usually two pulls. If I'm quick enough with the choke, I probably don't even have to pull it twice. Or maybe it'll start without choking it. I don't, I've never tried it, but I always just choke it once, pull it, it dies, shut the choke off, pull it again, fires right up. Dad, thanks for the saws all. It worked awesome. Circular saw, still too small, it wouldn't go all the way through. It's pretty thick. I don't even know how thick a board that is. It's it's like uh seems like it's one piece i hate to have to buy that kind of lumber now the way prices are half inch sheet of plywood nothing special about it just a regular half inch sheet of plywood freaking 53 dollars i'm very very pleased with how that turned out it looks good so i'm gonna pick up my mess put the motor back up cover the boat up call it a day i just got off work um came home and figured i'd work on this boat a little bit and actually got it done quick and I thought I was going to get it done so I'm pretty happy with it so uh, let me know what you think um, if you're new please consider subscribing leave me a thumbs up let me know what you guys think about it I, I think it's going to work out perfect and uh, I'll see you next time